Ocasio-Cortez calls on lawmakers to boost staff or salaries, pay interns. Washington, Rep. Elect Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, is calling on lawmakers to increase salaries for congressional staffers and to pay their interns. The newly elected New York Democrat Socialist tweeted Monday that she had gone to a dive bar in Washington, D.C. this week and spoken to bartenders, managers and servers inside who also work on Capitol Hill, suggesting that they shouldn't have to juggle two jobs. This week I went to dive spot in D.C. for some late-night food. I chatted up the staff. Several bartenders, managers, and servers currently worked in Senate plus House offices. This is a disgrace. Congress of all places should raise MRAs so we can pay staff an actual D.C. living wage. Ocasio-Cortez, 29, said it was unjust for Congress to pay lawmakers a living wage but rely on unpaid interns and underpaid overworked staff. She said that Congress should increase the members' representational allowance for all lawmakers. It is unjust for Congress to budget a living wage for ourselves, yet rely on unpaid interns and underpaid overworked staff just B.C. Republicans want to make a statement about fiscal responsibility. If that's the case, they can cut down on staff to pay them well. Or raise the MRA. She and other members of Congress will already have fresh resources to pay interns, thanks to a new repository of funding next year. A mini-spending package passed by Congress and signed into law by President Donald Trump in September included new funding for members of Congress to draw on to pay their interns. The 2019 legislative branch bill includes $8.8 .8 million for the paid internships in the House allowing for up to $20,000 per calendar year for each House member to pay their interns. The bill, meanwhile, allocates $5 million for paid internships in the Senate. A congressional internship offers an entrance to a career in public service, but many dedicated, young adults do not have the means to spend a summer working for free in Washington or in our home districts, said Senator Patrick Leahy, Democrat Vermont, ranking member on the Senate Appropriations Committee, in September. By paying interns for their work. We open the door to a wider and more diverse pool of applicants looking to serve their country. I found that only 8% of GOP lawmakers in the House paid their interns, as did only 3.6% of Democratic House members, according to Pay Our Interns, a bipartisan, nonprofit organization that advocates an increase in paid government internships. The group found that in the Senate, members either paid their interns, offered stipends or had pledged to start paying. The group discovered an ad Monday for an unpaid internship in the office of Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, DNY, according to Rolling Stone, but a spokesman to the senator told the magazine that it was made an error and that Schumer's office will offer a stipend to eligible interns starting in January. Before the passage of the latest appropriations bill, the House had previously offered some paid internships through the Lyndon Baines Johnson Congressional Intern Program, which operated from 1973 until 1994. Lawmakers are and the total budget allowance for each member's staff in 2017 was $944,671. An accompanying report summarizing the legislation did not make clear whether lawmakers would be legally required to pay their interns, but did say that the House Administration Committee will promulgate rules and regulations on the implementation of this new authority. A request for additional information about whether lawmakers would eventually be required to pay interns was not immediately returned. Rebecca Shabbat is a congressional reporter for NBC News, based in Washington.